Hi there, people. What I'm going to display and show is how a police officer by the name of Paul Anthony Ryan, QPS Queensland police officer, lied under oath in his false police statement against me. So a, a police recording police officer, Paul Ryan, he claimed to detain me for domestic violence at 5.28.08pm, not 5.30pm. Police officer Paul Anthony Ryan turned it up to my house at 5pm. <coughs> so on his body worn camera, it has 30.31. So it shows 30.31. So he was talking to me up until 5.31pm. So he arrived at my place at 5 p.m. It's, I can prove this because on the false domestic violence order application, he put at approximately 5 p.m. police arrived at the, lo the location. So I will be showing his body-worn camera footage and the minutes on his body-worn camera is 28.01 and you'll hear him talking uh, let's play it So he claimed to detain me for domestic violence. And it's not 29 minutes. So he lied in his affidavit report where he's got at 5.29 I spoke with Garland through the screen door and advised him that I was investigating domestic violence and he was detained in for the investigation if he did not allow police into the residence. Then he may be charged with obstructing police. Garland refused to open the screen door and close in the wooden door. So down below is his name, Paul Ryan, and he had a Justice of the Peace sign his uh, affidavit. He signed his affidavit. So his affidavit is false and misleading, <coughs> pardon me, and he lied under oath. Uh, he claimed to arrive at my house at 5 p.m., and at the recording of 5.28.08 p.m., he claimed to detain me for domestic violence, not 5.30. So you do the math, work out, work out, let's have a look at it, work out... Uh, 28 minutes 08 past the time he was at my house. So he claimed to be at my house at 5 p.m. And so 28 minutes 08 p.m. is 5.28.08 p.m. So I believe he deliberately lied in his false police statement. He also furthered his lie in his police statement to the court, to Ipswich Magistrates Court. He, he says in section 13, at 5.29pm I spoke with Garland and advised him that I was investigating domestic violence 
and he was detained for the investigation. If he did not allow police into the residence, then he may be charged with obstructing police. Garland refused to unlock and open the screen door and closed the wooden door. So this is this is his plea, false police statement. Say so Paul, uh, Ryan Paul. He he had a witness sign it, and he also signed it. So he he committed perjury two times, once in a affidavit report, and. It, once in a, a a false false police statement report. So I go further up, and there's the information there. So, police officer Paul Anthony Ryan should go down for police serious police misconduct, and he should be charged for two accounts of perjury. I'm done.